All right, this is grade three, module three, lesson six, and we're going to be using the distributive property to help us uh, with our multiplication and division facts of six and seven. So in a previous uh, video, we, we did something along these lines, only the, the stacks of cubes, I don't know if you remember this, but the stacks of cubes, and I'm going to scroll down here, were um, stacked up and down vertically. Uh, so like if we were going to do like uh, 6 times 7, that means we had 6 groups of 7. And so essentially we had these cubes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we were saying that each cube is worth 7. And then the idea was, oh, let's, let's use the distri distributive property. Well, 5 times 7 is 35 plus one more seven, so we would write this as, oh, that's five times seven plus an extra seven. And then, of course, that's how we get our answer. Uh, this lesson is the exact same thing, only the difference is now we're putting the um, tape diagram, we're building the model horizontally instead of vertically. But essentially, the math is the same. So when we're doing eight times seven right here, eight times seven, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to have seven eight times scattered across right here. <clears throat> so if we divide this up right here, this portion right here is seven, is five groups of seven. So five times seven, which is 35. And then over here on the right side, we've got three groups of 7, so that's going to be 3 groups of 7, which is 21. And then this story is we're going to add the 35 plus the 21. So that's, that's how we're going to do that. So down here, we're going to fill it in. So where it says 8 times 7, okay, so that's going to be 5 plus 3. Is he... Uh, and then multiply that by 7. And essentially what we're saying is, here's our 5, here's our 3. All right, so we're taking the 8, and we're breaking it up into 5 plus 3. Now this left part here is 5 times 7, so the right part here is going to be 3 times 7. And then the left part here, this is equal to 35, so the right part is going to be 21. And then when you add those together, you get 56. So that tells us that 8 times 7 is 56. And I should write that up here, 56. But it also tells us 7 times 8 is 56. So by doing all this work, we've learned two multiplication facts. 7 times 8, oh, 8 times 7, and 7 times 8. Well, let's just do this second one over here. And um, it, it'll go a little bit quicker. So we have 9 times 7, but we've broken it up into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4. So we've broken it up into 5 and 4. And then we can see over here, 5 times 7 is still 35. 4 times 7 is 28. So this side over here is 28. So now, down here, we took the 9, and we're going to break it up into 5 plus 4. So it's going to be 5 uh, plus 4 times 7. And then we're going to have 5 times 7 and 4 times 7. And then we're going to have 35 plus, and then this is going to be 28. And now we have 35 plus 28, and that gives us 50, 63. Gives us 63. So now we know 9 times 7 is 63. But we also know that 7 times 9 is 63, so I should put 63 right up there. So now we're going to do the same thing, only this is in reverse. We're going to be uh, doing it with division. Uh, so what this chart, you know, a lot of people might go, what? Where did, that, where did all this stuff come up, come from? So we're going to take 56 and we're going to decompose it using a number bond. And I'm going to do that over here. So 56, and we're going to decompose it into 35. And what goes here? It's going to be 21. 
because 35 plus 21 equals 30, uh, 56. So that tells us that 21 is going to go here. All right. So now we've got 56 divided by 7 is 35 divided by 7 plus 21 divided by 7 uh, because 56 is 35 plus 21. All right. And now we can see that 35 divided by 7 is 5, so that means 21 divided by 7 is 3, and 5 plus 3 is 8. So that tells us 56 divided by 7 is 8. And if we wanted to, we can also say that 56 divided by 8 is 7. And our last problem, Ronaldo solves 7 times 6 by thinking of it as 5 groups of 7 plus an extra 7. Did you hear how he said 5 groups of 7? Okay, that's going to play into this. So is he correct? Well, so we're going to first take this 7 times 6, and I'm going to rethink it Th rethink it as 6 times 7, and to me, that makes more sense. It's 6 groups of 7. So we're going to have 6 groups of 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's our 6 groups of 7. And then we can take do our 5s. This portion right here is 5 times 7, and that's 35. Plus, we have the extra 7 up here, because that's really 1 times 7 is 7. So it's 35 plus 7, which happens to be 42. And isn't that exactly what Ronaldo did? 5 times 7 plus 7. Well, Ronaldo did 5 times 7. We did 5 times 7. Ronaldo added an extra 7. We added an extra 7. So Ronaldo is correct. And that is Grade 3, Module 3, Lesson 6, using the distributive property to know your sixes and sevens.